morning. I'm on site here at Embedded World 2022 and joining me today is Marcus from ST Microelectronics who is the Technical Marketing Manager for Microcontrollers. And today we're going to be talking about enabling rapid time to market IoT applications. So thank you very much for joining me today, Marcus. Thank you, Paige. Um, so let's start by talking about ST's IoT Discovery Kit. Can you tell us what the kit includes? Yeah, it's a a rather well-equipped board with a lot of uh, wireless interfaces as well as you have sensors and uh, additional memories that you can utilize when you're wanting to build your next uh, IoT application. So of course it's also based on our latest addition of uh, low-power microcontrollers called the STM32U5. So it's a very well-equipped board to get you uh, rolling and uh, yeah, rapid time to market for, for this type of uh, applications. Fantastic. And can you tell us what features this kit has that would benefit developers of IoT devices? Yes, yeah, so namely in, for IoT devices, we have this board where we have a Wi-Fi interface uh, supported by an MX chip uh, module. And of course, there is Bluetooth interface as well. So you have both uh, big uh, wireless interfaces covered by that. And of course, you have various types of uh, USB uh, connectors where you can connect to. And you can also, uh, of course, expand on the board with additional uh, expansion uh, boards like this. Mm -hmm. Uh, and on top of that, if you want to make like a sensor, you have some IoT um, uh, equipped sensors or yeah, angled sensors like uh, accelerometer, gyros, uh, uh, things like this. So it's very well equipped board that also for an IoT perspective comes with software that goes okay. in this direction as well. Okay, fantastic. Now security is perhaps one of the biggest challenges for engineers developing IoT systems. So what security features does this kit have? So this uh, 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 kit, or mainly the microcontroller, comes with a lot of uh, new improvements on the security addressing. Mainly, foremost, it's based on Cortex-M33, mm -hmm. so of course it comes with Trust Zone enabled. Uh, it uh, also comes supported by ST's own uh, firmware library for um, secure boot and secure firmware upgrade. So there is a very extensive uh, reference library that can uh, support engineers going forward. So it's a nice reference platform to start from. Uh, other than that, we have also further improved on um, uh, the features of the crypto accelerators on this one. So they are side channel resistant. That means that you cannot uh, intercept whatever is going on inside the ship while it's executing. Okay, sounds great. Um, and I also understand that the kit has some key assets that enable prototyping for a variety of uh, wearable or sensor applications. Can you tell us about those key assets and why they're beneficial to these types of applications? Yeah, so mainly the STM32U5 is the launch platform for one of our newest um, updated features called uh, low, background, uh, low power background acquisition mode. So we can actually um, grab data while the, cross, uh, or the microcontroller is not running. So it's, it's grabbing data from the external sensors and, and uh, storing that off into SRAM. And by, by doing this in this way, you can save a lot of power while you're not actually sacrificing any form of responsiveness. So it's also very much tuned to be super responsive, coming back to life in a matter of microseconds. Uh, while this also will allow the engineer to, um, to cut back on power uh, consumption on the internal memories. Mm -hmm. It will allow for further um, uh, data retention in the internal uh, SRAM. So you can choose if you want to retain the full SRAM or if you just want to retain a portion of it. And of course that adds uh, flexibility on the overall power consumption of this device. Mm, some great benefits there. Yeah. And as the number of IoT devices continues to grow, what capabilities do you see developers needing in the future? So I think uh, capabilities going forward will of course be very much both on the security perspective as well as on the low power pers uh, perspective because these are the two leading uh, challenges going forward. Security being uh, of course what we are all facing more and more these days that when we put our applications down, our, out on the field they are more prone to be uh, attacked both on the physical form as well as on uh, a remote side uh, of uh, attacks. So we are trying to challenge this uh, with our parts, trying to mitigate all the type of different threats that we can perceive. Mm. And we either mitigate that with the hardware itself or we mitigate it through the software uh, that we can offer for our chips. Mm, fantastic. And let's look at some of the applications you've mentioned in more detail, starting with sort of a smart home and a smart city. What particular support do creators of, of smart home and smart city devices need and, and what are you able to currently offer? So for, if we start from the smart city perspective, we, we offer a lot of uh, uh, 
solutions for low power wide area network setups. So maybe, maybe not specifically supported on this board, but you could extend the board features mm -hmm. to support such a setup. So from a smart city perspective of uh, the infrastructure and all that, we can ag address this. And then of course you can expand this board to support ethernet communication with external parts. And then you have uh, yeah, a, a good platform to do smart city uh, implementations. Then looking to the smart home, it's much more tuned for that since you have the Wi-Fi interface there, you have the Bluetooth interface. So it's easy to, uh, to realize your in-house uh, smart sensor of some type mm -hmm. with the built-in sensor or the integrated sensors on this board. Mm, some exciting applications are going to come out, I think. Yes. Um, now, not only are homes and cities changing, but obviously the industrial world is too. And we've all heard of Industry 4 and the Industrial Internet of Things and smart manufacturing. And semiconductors are key enablers behind this smart industry trend. So what products does ST have available that can help developers make smart industry a reality? So for smart industries, we, we have a huge portfolio today of STM32s. And mainly also the, the latest introduction of this has a good perspective on, on solving a lot of challenges that the Industrial 4.0 developers are looking into. So we have this STM32U5 might be also a good platform here, but you have the STM32H7 and we have yeah, newer, more high performance and also more uh, specific devices to address these type of challenges yeah. that uh, com uh, companies are addressing for the industrial 4.0. Mm, so a great platform you've got there already. Yeah. Um, so let's focus on condition monitoring and predictive maintenance in particular. What solutions have you developed around this? So for this, we actually have a specific software suite where okay. we can address lots of these um, challenges for um, uh, predictive maintenance uh, and also other type of machine learning applications. So we have a, a software suite called Nano Edge AI. So this software suite enables uh, a developer to have a more or less a running start with AI, being a rather complex topic. And it's, there's many parameters that you have to take in account before you have a running system. Mm -hmm. So with this software, and its capability to run more or less on all STM32s that we currently have on a, in our portfolio is, um, is just a, yeah, a super good start for almost any developer in, in this market today. Excellent, fantastic. And what are some of the challenges that you think developers are currently facing and, and how can your devices make, make these challenges easier? So the, the challenges is, uh, yeah, with the risk of becoming repetitive, uh, what I see going forward is, is for sure the security perspective as well as the integration uh, perspective. So we address this not only with our parts, but also a lot of, the, a lot of this today is software driven. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we uh, have already built a couple of reference platforms or ref reference libraries to address these challenges that developers are seeing. So, and on top of that, we have a huge support team that are there to address um, customer questions as they arrive throughout the development process. Mm. So we, we have a, a one-stop shop for, for the total solution when it comes from the software, the hardware, as well as the soft, uh, support going from uh, the start of development to end of the application. Brilliant, fantastic. And with the market constantly evolving and innovating, how do you plan to continue meeting the specific needs of this, you know, the diverse, diverse applications? So we are always trying to stay aligned with our customers throughout uh, yeah, various types of uh, workshops or other type of uh, venues where we can interview and, and chat with our customers to check what they are expecting of us going forward, mm -hmm. as well as, of course, keeping in, in, uh, in tune with, um, with the market requirements going forward for integrations, for security, for low power, for further extension of uh, yeah, wired interfaces. So. Mm -hmm. Just uh, keeping uh, on the forefront of integrating the latest uh, interfaces that might be required for the mm. next genera generation of applications. Excellent. Well, I look forward to the future. And thank you very much for joining me today. Some great insights there. And enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.